Another thing that's great about Exotic is the pedals that they put out. The one pedal that I use all the time for sure is the BB Plus. Now I know they have this pedal as, as a standalone, a BB, but for some reason I just like the tone of the BB Plus. And to tell you the truth, I keep it all the time here on channel B and I've got it set where the volume is all the way up and the gain is all the way down because what it does, it gives just a little boost to my amp. Here you'll see it. Now this is, that's my amp just regular, but you turn this on, it gives it a nice big bottom boost and that's great for the, the, uh, the, uh, the single coil pickups because I'm looking for that Strat sound. If I was, of course, I've, if I was playing like a Les Paul, it'd be a totally different configuration. But this thing allows me to, uh, to give it just that boost and bottom end, which is what I need for the Strat and the single coil pickups. Plus, I have it on both channels coming, and I have it on hard as well, these, uh, these little uh, buttons here right here, and I push it into hard. And this one, of course, it doesn't work because for some reason, I just don't use that side, but I just love the way this pedal sounds. And this pedal is always the last in the chain because that's what's going to be a boost. Another booster that I use quite often is the EP booster, and I use it for just a subtle, just a real subtle boost here. So here you go. So here's with just uh, by itself. And if I just want just a little bit of boost. And it just it just gives just that little boost so I can still, I'm not, the chords aren't getting dirty because I play a lot of rhythms. I can still hear all the strings sing out even when I put on the EP booster, you know, and then I can still do solos because it gives a little bit of, a little bit of hair on the note. So the EP booster is, I know it's a really popular pedal by Exotic and it's a great pedal and I think EP came from um, Echoplex. It's supposed to sort of replicate that sort of warm sound that the Echoplex gives. And I know that sound because I've got four Echoplexes. I have a tube one and three solid state and I've played them for many years and it really does replicate it. The only thing you don't get from it is that little tape warble going. But this thing does do it, man. It's a great pedal. And uh, another pedal that I use but I don't have right now uh, is the SL. And the SL, I gotta tell you the story, when they had the prototype of the SL, I plugged it in and uh, I said, wow, it sounds like my Marshall. And it goes, that's exactly what we were looking for, was the super lead sound. And totally, I could hear it right off the bat. And so I was amazed. So it's a great pedal. You really got to check out the SL pedal. And, you know, they're just making some really good pedals. I know people are saying this is like the golden age of pedals because there are so many pedals out there on the market as opposed to how it was in the 70s or the 80s. Your, your choices were very limited. But now it really is a golden age, and I think Exotic is right up there, like in the top echelon of some of the cats doing it. I mean, you might be able to go out and get some co-tour guys that are doing this ham-wired stuff. You're going to pay a ton of money for that stuff. This stuff is great stuff at an economical price, and it's available. And it's, it's for limited runs. It's not like they're making millions of pedals. They do them for limited runs, so that, that makes it really great, too, and more desirable, I think. So really should look it up.